Hi everyone, my name is Esther and this video is a part of Esther's ministry. Thank you so much for watching. Today I started a two part series about how to be consistent. And maybe you think, well, in what do I need to be consistent? Well, at, at the beginning of every video, I will always, I will always show you a Bible. <laughs> and today I want to talk to you about be consistent with reading your Bible and why it is so important to read your Bible. Because please read it because a change will come if you read it. So why the importance about uh, um, consistency? When Jesus died on the cross 2000 years ago, a long, long period of time, he said three famous, uh, three famous words before he gave up the ghost and uh, before he, uh, he went to hell and got the keys back and um, uh, made everyone, every uh, captivity free. And he rose up again from the dead. And uh, to rise again, he said three famous words. He said, it is finished. It is finished. So this, this means that everything you need in life, he already provided. He already gave it to us 2000 years ago when he hung on, on that cross. So we need to, uh, um, because of that, we can have, we have healing healing already on the inside of us we have peace because this peace is already on inside of us because jesus christ is living on the inside of us we are not living our own life anymore we are living his but the thing is and I, it is sad to say but a lot of churches are not preaching this a lot of churches are only preaching the cross and thank you jesus that is so important <laughs> so i don't want to stab anybody in the back i'm just i'm just saying uh, it is not preached that very very much but it is for you in order to know that everything he um, everything you need in life he already did it it is already done it is already finished but for you to know you need to read the word and you need, don't need to read it once in a while and well hey uh, i'm in a difficult situation right now let's find out what the word has to say and yes it is very good if you are the one that you are in a difficult situation and you are picking up the word and uh, and you are and you're, and you're trying to find a solution in the word yes i i i will cheer that on i will say yes please go further <laughs> but i believe that you are missing out if you only read it once in a while and only dig in when you have a problem because we need to transform our mind to the word of god and i want to uh, i want to talk to you about romans 12 uh, verse 1 and 2 and uh, I'm not going very. Uh, I'm, I'm not going uh, into the topic of uh, spirit, body, spirit, soul, and body because I made a video about that already. And I'm not going to uh, dive in the topic of uh, righteousness because I already <laughs> discussed that as well. Uh, and um, I will show you. I will give you the link if you want to see those videos. But anyway, uh, Romans 12, verse one. I want to start with verse one. Um, because I believe a lot of people are missing out in this point. Um, and it says as following. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your, which is your reasonable service. And unfortunately, I have, I've spoken to a lot of people. <laughs> I'm glad I've spoken to a lot of people. But unfortunately, I hear a different message. I hear that sometimes people are sacrificing their health for the Lord and they say, well, this is just a burden I need to live with. Or uh, if you are in a severe death, I hear a lot of people say, well, he will provide eventually or he will help me eventually. But that is not the truth. That is not what this verse is saying. It is saying that we give our bodies a living sacrifice. It means that you choose not to live out of your own means and not to, uh, not to live on your own understanding or to rely upon your own understanding. It means that you say, Jesus Christ, I believe you are the son of God. 
You died on that cross 2,000 years ago. You said the three words, it is finished. I believe those words and I believe that you rose up again and I believe you are the son of the living God. I believe all those things. And you know what? Because I believe this, I'm giving up my life and I want to live your life. I want to have your thoughts and I want to have your point of view of life, not my own point of view. And this is how I see it. I, when I found out these scriptures, I thought, man, thank you, Jesus, <laughs> that I can be a living sacrifice because I messed up my life time and time and time and time and time again. I cannot emphasize how many times I messed, how many times I messed up my life. But for you to think that we need to sacrifice something he already provide is not a true sacrifice uh, because scripture says that uh, he healing is ours. He already healed us 2000 years ago. He already provide everything you need in, in your financial part. Uh, if you are in search for, for a partner, he already provided everything you need. He already provided. But the thing is, we need to read the word to get to know this. And uh, going to church every Sunday is a good thing to do. Truly it is. But I believe it is not enough. And um, sometimes people say, well, if I need to transform my life and I need to confess the word and read the word, I see that as works and we do not have to work for him. And I say, okay, good point, uh, but I want to explain it to you further because I don't see it as works. Uh, you can, can maybe uh, if you imagine the person you are have, you are having a crush on. <laughs> maybe you had a uh, 20 years ago a crush on your <laughs> on your uh, husband or whatever. Or you know what I understand. Uh, just imagine yourself having a crush on somebody and you are in love with that person. I think that you will do whatever you have, what lies inside, uh, wh whatever the means you have, you will find out, find out everything about that person, what is to know. And I will tell you, if there was a book about my husband <laughs> with all the details, I would buy it and I would read it and I'd say, wow, this is my husband. But the same is with Jesus Christ. When we come to him, it is not works to read about him it is love i am so in love with jesus christ when i've heard when i've heard him about him i thought man i need to get to know him i need to know who this man is who gave his life for me and that is the reason why you read the word but don't do it once in a while because one when you read once in a while a chapter or once in a while a scripture you do not get the point that he already done it everything you do not get the point that you reign in life with him together and that jesus christ is living on the inside of you you don't have to beg god for provision he already gave it to you but in order for you to find out you need to read it and that is why uh, i want to talk with you about uh, romans uh, chapter 12 verse 1 and 2 because a lot of people will say well uh, because they don't understand it, they will say, well, I pick up my cross and I will walk through life with this, um, uh, with this sickness or with this poverty or with, uh, with other horrible things. But that is not the sacrifice that Christ is talking about. It is a sacrifice of who you are as a person, who you are as a human being, and you are giving yourself to him. But do you know what? He is trustworthy. He loves you so much. He, when you come to him and you say, you know what? I want to live with you. I want to know you. Not just um, artificial or as an acquaintance. No, I want to know you, who you are. Who are you? He will show it to you. He will show it to you by his word. He will talk to you through his word. He will speak to you through his word. But the thing is, we need to read it. And uh, this is not emphasized too much in churches. And I find, find that a shame because it is, in, uh, it is so important because Jesus is the word. John 1 verse 1, Jesus is the word. The word was from the beginning. From the beginning when, when everything was created, the word was. And the word 
is and I have this right now. I have access to everything I need in my life. But you need to read it and you need to read it on a consistent basis. Because if you read it just bit by bit, here a little bit, here, there a little bit and then a little bit here, you don't see the overview picture. You need to, to you need to read everything. <laughs> you need to read the whole thing to get to know the whole thing and that is one uh, i want to bless you with because I, as you can see i have a passion for the word of god and i believe that i'm not the only one who needs to have a passion every single person who's living on this earth needs to read the word of god because with it a change is gonna come see you at the next video <laughs> bye